Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And I'm Savings Fashionista. And over here, we call this little space Nistas Nation. Um, if you are not familiar with what a Nista is, it's just short for Fashionista. And a Nisto is just short for Fashionisto. I don't know if I made that up or if I heard it somewhere. But anyway, so that's what a Nista or Nisto is. My voice is rather raspy, you guys. Um, for those of you who are returning, I do suffer from this weird sinus issue that has been haunting me my entire life. So um, the voice is very raspy. So if you would just pardon me, but I will try to speak as clearly as I possibly can and enunciate the words properly. All right. So um, today we're here to talk about my five most complimented fragrances from 2021. So normally over here, we do all things fragrances over here, but there are times where I may, you know, do what's in my bag or a haul or um, something that's trending, you know, in social media or in the world, you know, or it, it, it could vary. But the heart of the channel, it is um, fragrance. So as you can see in my background, there are some Bath & Body Works products and a lot of candles that you can see. All right, so um, we're going to talk about my five most complimented um, luxury brand and niche brand fragrances. So those of you who are not familiar with what a niche brand is, and if you're here, I'm sure you already know, but a niche brand is a house. We call them houses. It's a, like a brand that only focus on fragrances. They don't do purses, um, shoes, clothing, furniture, or anything like that. Everything is fragrance grooming products, and it's all about fragrance. All right, so we're going to get started with that, and I'm going to tell you my top five from 2021. So we're just going to go and get this human out of the way because by now, this right here is a whole human, and I don't know if she's male or female. I don't know what the gender is, but I do know that it came, it spoke, and it's still speaking. And that is the Mason Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys. So this is my second bottle and it has quite a dent in it. All right, so we're going to start off with the fragrance notes. So the top notes are saffron and jasmine. The middle or hard notes are amber wood and ambergris. And the base note is fir resin cedar. All right, so I'm not going to do a lot of talking about these. Um, I'm just going to tell you, um, I'm going to give you the um, brand type, the classification, the projection, the sillage, the um, longevity, and the gender profile. All right, or the recommended gender profile. So the um, brand, this is a niche brand. This company is out of Paris, but you can get this fragrance um, at Neiman Marcus, Saks, and also um, they have it on some of the discounted places. So moving over into fragrances and, you know, following different subscribers, I mean, following different content creators, I'm learning a lot about these discount retailers or um, U.S. retailers because for some fragrances, they don't launch immediately in the U.S., but you do have companies like Lucky Scents as well as Twisted Lily that do get some of those fragrances prior to them launching in the States, but this has been here. All right, so um, it is a niche brand. The classification, I would say that it's like a floral, woody fragrance. The projection is a 10. The longevity, it's a 10. The sillage, I would give it about a 7, and that's heavy for sillage. Um, I think if you have a sillage that's a 10, just in my opinion, it just would not work well with my sinuses because the longer it trails and leave a trail behind the more potent i feel that the fragrance is and the gender profile is definitely unisex so you guys i get loads of compliments on this fragrance tons and tons no matter where i am date night family event 
Target, uh, wherever, CVS, wherever I am, no matter where, work, I am going to get loads of compliments off this fragrance. And um, this is this is a staple. I think that most females and probably some males have this in their collection. All right, so that is the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, the next one I am going to share with you. This is something that I... Um, well, I wouldn't say accidentally, but I discovered by way of it being a gift with another fragrance that my husband and daughter um, gifted to me. I got the Wonder Woman um, Special Edition 1984 from the House of Siage. And I think, um, well, I know they purchased it from Saks because it was in the Saks bags. But they gave me this as a free gift, you guys. And... I don't even know if this come in a full size bottle because every time I look it up, all I see is this little um, travel itemizer. But this is the trend. So what happens is with um, the House of Siage, she has these fragrances, the, the cupcake fragrances, and she had these other fragrances. And this could be, no, this is not a male fragrance. I think this is a female fragrance. But she have these smaller fragrances, I think that may launch later or she's just gonna keep them as the trending collection. But this one is the number 10 Lace Up The Trend. All right, so the fragrance notes in The Trend are, the top notes are uh, a room Lily, the middle and heart notes are Narcissus, and the base notes are Freesia Musk. Very simplistic. This is a really pretty scent, you guys. The um, brand is niche. This is a niche brand. The classification, I would say that it's a musky floral. The projection is about a eight. I would give it an eight. The longevity is about a seven. The sillage is probably about a five. And the gender profile, it is for women. So, um, this is a really nice, um, fragrance, you guys. So, as I said, this right here, this has garnered me compliments from a little boy. Um, I was in Trader Joe's one day, um, hubby and I, and this little, um, uh, guy walked up to me and he said, um, ma'am, you smell so good to me. So, it was a lot of giggles, um, and his mom even asked what I was wearing. So, um, this right here, it garners a lot of um compliments and i had never heard of it so i think it's always good to experience your decanters because you never know what you may discover so this is the trend number 10 lace up by the house of siage all right I'm okay i'm back something came up and I got totally distracted. So when I seem kind of disoriented in my thoughts, you guys, um, forgive me because I've been distracted. And um, I just thought I would tell you that so you wouldn't think I was crazy. All right, so let's move on down the list. All right, so the next most complimented fragrance from 2021, it is from the House of Killian. This is the Rolling in Love, you guys. Okay, so I know most of us are familiar with the Rihanna signature. I can't remember if it's Good Girl Gone Bad or something about love. I just can't even remember, but I think it's in a white container. All right, so when I went out sniffing, um... I went looking for that and the essay she did show it to me and um, I ended up, you know, just smelling some other things and I ended up liking this one and the blue one. So when I made my request to my husband, I told him I wanted to get the rolling in love and the red bottle and he came through. So um, we're going to talk about the fragrance notes. The um, top notes are almond milk the am and ambretta. You know, ambretta is... Um, must mellow. The middle or heart notes, Irish freesia. The base notes are tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. All right, so you guys, this is a awesome, awesome floral gourmand. Um, this is one of the more softer gourmands that I have in my collection. I don't know 
why it's so soft. I don't know if that almond milk is kind of blending it down or really what it is, but you definitely can get that freesia and that tuberose in it. This is a beautiful scent, you guys. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but this is a really beautiful scent. All right, so the brand type, it is niche. Killian is a niche brand. They only sell fragrances. The classification, it is, of course, a gourmand floral. The projection is about a six. The longevity is about a six. And um, the sillage, I'm not really sure on the sillage. I haven't really gauged the sillage on this one. And the gender profile is unisex. So this is a very beautiful fragrance, you guys. All right, so the next fragrance, it is the Joe Malone Intense Virgin of Mirth and Tonka. I want to say Tonka Bean, but it's Myrrh and Tonka. All right, so um, this is another woody gourmand, but this is a deeper woody gourmand. So this is soft. Well, this is a woody gourmand, and this is a floral gourmand. All right, so this is a very deep fragrance and this is a soft fragrance so i guess the wood would make it deeper all right so the top notes are lavender the middle notes are um, myrrh and the base notes are tonka bean vanilla and almond all right so the brand it is a deep niche brand joe malone they do sell body fragrances as well as home fragrances they have candles fusion sticks and some other things in their um, lineup Okay, so the classification, of course, it is a woody gourmand. The projection is about a nine. It's, she's she's hollering, she's strong. The longevity is about a nine. The sillage is probably about a six um, because it, it, it just lingers, you know. Um, and the gender profile is definitely unisex. So this is a really good fragrance. You know, Jo Malone is considered to be a layering fragrance, but she needs no assistance. And I have some other Joe Malone's that I feel they need no assistance. All right, so let's move on down to number five so we can wrap this up. And number five is from my favorite house. I'm gonna just be a disclaimer. Any type of list that I do, it's, I'm sure it's gonna always have this particular brand in it because it's just my favorite niche brand. Um, and it is Madison Square Park by Bond number nine. Not only is she pretty in looks, but, oh, this is pretty. All right, so if you're a floor girl, you definitely want to um, check this out. So the top notes are grass, blueberry. The middle and heart notes are rose and tulip. And the base notes are teakwood and vetiver. All right, this is so pretty, you guys. This is not my favorite bun, number nine, but she's like in my top, probably top five. All right, so um, the brand, of course, bun number nine is a niche brand. They do carry, um, they do have lipsticks. And the House of Siage do sell lipsticks as well, but I still consider them niche brands. So they sell lipsticks, they sell candles, and they sell their beautiful fragrances. So this um, is a niche brand. The classification is floral. The longevity is about an eight. The CI is four, four, maybe a four. And the gender profile is, it's definitely deemed for a woman. All right, so it is very soft, it's very floral, but at the same time, it's deep. So those are my five most complimented fragrances from 2021. If you would, please leave down below one, two, or three, or four, or five of your most complimented fragrances from 2021. I want to thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. So I want to thank you again for coming back to the channel. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great.